Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. So this week is Bout of Books and I've been debating about whether or not I wanted to participate in Bout of Books this year or this time around and I decided to just try it because, you know, there's no harm in trying. I couldn't do booktube with that and I was really sad about that and I've been feeling like I've been neglecting my reading a little bit. So I decided Bout of Books would be a really good opportunity to sort of get a lot of reading done potentially. So this is a very loose TBR that I will probably not stick to because I know myself, but I have a couple of goals in mind for the week too. The first one, because I'm going to be reading Moby Dick as per scheduled, my Moby Dick goal is to just keep on track with it and preferably get to chapter 100 because that's approximately where you're supposed to be by next Sunday. So yeah, my goal is just to really keep on track with Moby Dick. I don't really plan on getting ahead of schedule this week at least, especially since I'm doing bout of books. The second goal is to finish listening to the audiobook of Age of Ambition. This is a nonfiction book that I've been listening to over the course of what seems like two months. And I'm almost done with it. I have about four and a half hours left, so I should be able to finish reading that this week if I prioritize listening to my audiobook. The problem with me and audiobooks is that I also like to listen to lots of other things, like podcasts and music, so I don't always prioritize audiobooks. So I'm just going to make it a point to prioritize Age of Ambition until I've finished it, which will hopefully be within the course of this week. And then my next goal is to read a minimum of 50 pages, but I'm actually going to try to see if I can push myself and do an average of 100 per day. 50 just doesn't seem like enough, like 50 seems like something I can definitely do, but 100 feels like an actual stretch. So I'm going to shoot for 100, but if I don't hit 100, I'm going to shoot for a minimum of 50. So these are just some of the books that I'm going to be reading. First off is Girl at War by Sarah Novick. This is a book that you will be seeing later on this week because I'm doing a library book haul on Friday, and I am about 50 pages into this one currently. It takes place in 1991 in Croatia and it's right as Yugoslavia is sort of breaking off into this huge war and you're following this young girl and the, as it affects her life and then I believe later on it fast forward to 2001 New York when the main character has moved to New York and obviously major things happen in New York in 2001. It's a pretty quick read so this one actually works pretty well for a readathon. Next I think I'm going to be picking up The Women of Brewster Place by Gloria Naylor. This is subtitled A Novel in Seven Stories and so I think what I'm going to try to do is read a story a day. This book is also pretty short so I should be able to handle that amount every single day and it'll help add to my 50 page or 100 page count. And the rest of these are just like maybe books that I might pick up depending on how I'm feeling. It's really hard for me to set TBRs for these things but I'd always just like to have a stack of books nearby just in case I'm not feeling something and I want to switch it up. The first one I have is Demona by Noelle Stevenson which is a graphic novel so this one would obviously be great for a readathon because, you know, it's a graphic novel and those are easy to read. And then I have Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older, which is a young adult book following a young girl who realizes she has supernatural abilities and she's able to, like, infuse magic into different types of art like paintings and music and stories. This is also one that you will be seeing in my library book haul later on this week. And then the other one is also one for my library book haul and that's Tiny Pretty Things by Sonia Charapotra and Danielle Clayton, I believe I said their names correctly. Um, this one follows ballerinas, just their lives as they're striving for this like perfection of being a top ballerina, but also just all of the struggles that they deal with in their real lives as well. This is also a young adult book, and I've heard really, really good things about it. This one is a little bit thicker, so I don't know if I am going to actually read it for the readathon, but it's a potential one. So yeah, that's just my really quick TBR video. Let me know if you guys are participating in Bout of Books. I probably won't be doing update videos or vlogs because I don't think I'm gonna have time to like edit all that together. I'll obviously do a wrap up at the end. Also, I'll be doing daily updates on my Instagram and Tumblr, so there will be links to that down below, or you can follow me on Twitter because I post them onto Twitter as well. There will be links to all my social media in the description box, so you guys can follow me on there for more updates. But yeah, that's all I have for now, and thanks for watching.